Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 88. Yeah, 88. And we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords. We are on the moon of Dixon after um, an unplanned detour. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it an unplanned detour. And um, we found this wonderful group of Mandalorians, and we've been doing quests for them. In the hope that we'll earn enough honor that uh, Mandalore will take us in his private jet up to our original goal. And what do we have here? Nah, it won't be around long enough to worry about it. Come on, let's get that one too. Oh good, it's one of those Canucks. Or Canucks. Come on. Has this got the last piece of the thing that we're looking for? No? Or does this one? Enhanced Energy Cell Mark 3. Now, this is going to be one of those uh, uh, component things, isn't it? Oh! It's for a melee upgrade. Okay. And it adds an extra damage. One to, th all right, one to six energy. All right. That, that'll that be useful when it comes time for that. But uh, I thought these guys had the uh, the power parts. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's head south. Ish? Sure. Ah! Hello, Kelborn. What are you doing out here? It's dangerous for your kind. No, it's not. <laughs> Why are you here? I thought all the patrols have been stopped. I'm exploring. What do you mean, my kind? Uh... Eh, let, let's return the question around. Why are you here? I thought all the patrols have been stopped. I am a Mandalorian scout. Mm -hmm. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. Oh, good. There's a bounty hunter ship deeper in the jungle. No, it wasn't them. Oh. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly. It was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Okay. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Uh, a ship that big should have left a trail. Haven't found any sign of the ship. Just this corpse here. Looks mm. like a scout. And pretty green too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's stop talking and get to the killing. I'm always up for a fight. Depends what you mean by action. What do you intend to do? Kill them? Yeah, let's go with it depends. Squeamish. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'm not planning on Not so much squeamish, I just I have alignment Even issues. Action. Master, I assure you that the elimination of these intruders is an absolute necessity. <laughs> Please, give the command. People have a habit of shooting Mandalorians on sight. If so, I wouldn't find a good fight. Alright, I may be able to help. What's the plan? There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths, and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts, if you're up for it. I am. Let's do I'm this. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. Okay. This doesn't look like west, but okay. Hey, was not anything on the body? No. Okay. Let's, uh, find us some scouts, then. Shall we? What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not... Wait, did you hear that? That's him! Get him! Oh. Okay. That's him? Get him? Seriously?
Well, there's a couple scouts right there. Four scouts, too. And they're not very good. Four is in they have no items. And they're not very good in that they got... Ooh, another four spike. I wonder if I can upgrade that. And some battle armor. That could be good. See, the corpse has more stuff than they do. How does that happen? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Hey, here's one of those Canucks. Canucks. Set the staging camp up oh. here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do Let more. Let me handle this. Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! All right, I just, I just want to get into the fight. Can I get into the fight? Come on. Hit him with the wave. There we go. What a... Oh, good. Is this one... Oh. A med pack and a cryobank grenade. Eh. Okay. All right, T3. Is it or Come on, one of these has 167 bucks. I'll take it. Another 70 bucks. Not bad. I'm still looking for the Canuck that or Canuck that's got the uh, the last item in it. I guess everybody's uh, regen has gotten them back to where they need to be. The ominous music keeps kicking in like some great battle's about to happen. Except, it's not. Oh, please be the last. Alright, I mean, I'll take the grip. But I was really hoping for, oh, I don't know, parts? Alright. Nope. I didn't want to do that many of them. Set to my optimal accuracy ratio achieved. Come on. Lure him. Items received. Lightsaber? Like a whole one? Did I just... Alright, I got a blaster pistol. Did I seriously just get a lightsaber out of that thing? got a lightsaber. Ooh. I need to toss a crystal in there and some upgrades and definitely give that to one of my Jedi. Who do I get? Oh, uh, I gotta see who's got dueling as their thing. Because, uh, might have to go through the armor and revisit the armor during the, uh, break between streams. Since I've picked up a little bit more. And the four spike. Oh, I forgot that those weren't upgradable. Maybe that's why I didn't hang on to them that much. Alright, so here's the question. Two roads diverge in a jungle. Alright. Let's, um... Let's take this short loop this way, and then run back into Kelborn, or try to run back into Kelborn. I'm still looking for one of those critters that's got the, uh... Take them down. Yeah, come on. Get around the rock. One of these critters has the part that I'm looking for. I guess he found a, uh... No. No. Okay. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? <laughs> I came across two groups of scouts. <laughs> Just some scout corpses that didn't put much of a fight. Nah. 
I came across some that weren't in the mood to talk either. Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorian. No. Find out anything useful from them? They mentioned something about a colonel, and there seems to be more. You first. Eh, no, let, let's let's be the forthcoming. Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin hmm. is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Yeah. All right, he's the one that opened fire. What makes you think he's on my trail? Who is General Vaklu? I'll remember that. Yeah, he's the one who. For All right, let, let's let's be forthcoming. He's the one who opened fire. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. And who is General Vaklu? General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. Oh. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian War. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Nah. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. Uh, then don't let me keep you here. Before you go, who were those scouts? They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret okay. about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One <laughs> last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. Huh. All right. So, looks like we earned the uh, honor we were looking for. All right, I got kind of lost. Where are we? All right, we still need to head up uh, north into that last little bit that's uh, not filled in. We've got a couple of quests there. Okay, yeah. What's um? What's the way I need to go? I need to head north. Westish. Yeah. And then hang a right at the next bridge. And hopefully, I can find. The Canuck that has the last bit remaining. I'm, I, I think I was supposed to go blow something up for uh, Mr. Mandalore, too. Sir Mandalore. Or is it Dr. Mandalore? Because he didn't spend all those years going to Mandalore and you for nothing. Ratio achieved. <laughs> Just go assassinate him. Nothing. Nothing. Doggone it. I thought those things were supposed to have, like, all sorts of stuff. Um. I'm about done with all these paths branching. Two paths diverge in a jungle. And I... Went left. I hear that's where the kitchen is. Kinda hungry. I could use a snack. Journal entry added. Just by walking to an area, you found the detonator the Mandalore told you about. The explosive charges are set around the entrance to cache B-13. Oh, okay. Let's light it up. You see a permacrete detonator. It's used to set off charges that are linked to it. Oh, come on. Who can't press the button? There we go. Oh, they didn't like that, did they? Statement. That explosion has stirred many life forms in the area. Fighting is undoubtedly imminent. Thank you for that. I appreciate that, Captain Obvious. Let's, um... Get us a little bit of breathing space. Get us some speed. And some valor. And then, um... That's nice. Take them down. Accuracy ratio 
Oh. Bowder's down already? Maybe I should get that, uh... Resurrect power. Before we get too far. Next chance I get. Uh, I hate that speed effect, though. The visual effect from the speed. Ooh. Multispectral target assessor. That could be good. And enhanced shielding visor. I don't know, that might be good. What else we got over here? I mean, besides a nice weapon scash, right? I... Oh, good thing I have a demolitions guy. Let's demolitions go. guy, do your uh, do your thing. Recover the mine. Dun 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 dun! dun, dun. Yikes! That's uh, that's a lot of mines. Although I think I've got the wrong demolitions person with me. Um, if I remember right, Mira's got the one that will let me uh, walk through the mines without triggering them. Alright, first things first. Let's recover the mines. I'm sorely tempted to... Uh, Put him in solo mode, but that that does not seem the smartest move. No, that does not seem smart at all. Oh, that, those are some big droids there. Are they worth parts? Please tell me they're worth parts. Oh, please let let let, let me salvage them. Let me salvage them for all the parts. Alright. Droid looks like it has been used some time. You can't find any way to activate it. Hmm. Are they all going to be like that? All right. What's in the box then? A blaster and a security tunnel. Always useful. Uh, okay. 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 Stop. 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 Ah. All right, I can't activate them. Oh. Oh my, okay. Let's uh, back, back that down. Get the shield up. Just set to maximum. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Well, okay then. So you take a swat at one, and uh, that's what happens. All right. Why do we get the feeling that uh, we're we're done with any need for? Uh, Mr. Repair Skills. Let's uh, pop on up with that security. And find a strengthening underlay. That could be nice. Mandalorian power shield. Some construction uh, construction kit. Yes, I know it's locked. That's why I wanted you to pick the lock. Impossible? 
Nah. Nope. Hey, uh, Mr. Demolitions. I guess I'm not done with you after all. Do you have high enough security skill while we're at it? This is too tough for me. Alright, not Set a problem. And activated. What's in the box now? Meditation gloves, a Gamoran cleaver, and Bindo's band. Okay. Oh, I might have another one I need to break into. Energy cell, 57 bucks. Who stored... 57 bucks is an oddly specific uh, amount of money to put in there. Hmm. Skills system. Um... What exactly does a skills system do? Let me finish getting the rest of the loot, and then we'll, we'll take a look. Fueling shield, another buster rocket. Goodness. So we got locks, a locked door, guarding droids, and more locked boxes. <sighs> Sonic blaster, aka parts. The iron grenade would be useful though. Eh. Nothing's impossible. Ooh. Mandalorian heavy armor. Always nice. I always get a little worried, though, because technically using the explosives can damage, so there might have actually been something other than chemicals in there, and it just got broke by the explosion. Uh, multi-shield generator could be nice. Advanced med pack and some components, and this one is empty. Alright, that appears to be the full run around the storage bin. There's nothing else to do, so let's... Uh well, we got a couple minutes. Let's take a quick look at our loot. Zabrik Heavy Blaster 5 to 14 and fully upgradable. Hmm, that is, that is kind of nice. I got a couple people that might be able to make some good use of that. Uh, 3 to, 3 to 6 Sonic. That's not bad, but oh, wait, 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 wait. On hit, it does constitution damage and dexterity damage. That sounds like the perfect offhand weapon for some of my uh, two-blast, two-gun types. Yeah, that, that, that bears some thinking. Damage immunity, 10% versus the dark side. Charisma plus three. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Is that the Jolie I'm thinking of? Alright. Enhanced shielding visor. Oh, requires medium armor proficiency. Okay. That right there. Alright, next time I level up, I may want the medium armor proficiency feat. Because that's a head slot that gets me a defense bonus of three. And damage immunity versus electrical energy and ion. That takes care of most of the blasters and sonic weapons and uh, range stuff that could be uh, tossed my way. Meditation gloves. Awareness. Dex and wisdom. That might be worth uh, equipping too. Alright, multi-shield generators. Not bad. Skill system. That's what I needed. Minimum constitution of 16, but that's a plus four to a whole bunch of skills. Awareness, computer use, demolitions, persuade, repairs, security, stealth, treat injury. Oh my. That, that might actually be worth, um, oh, I should probably have been using the flash mines for those, uh, crates or the sonic mines. Ooh. Special upgrade item for lightsabers. 1 to 4 damage bonus electrical. 
That's not bad either. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uni oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. 2 to 24 damage, which is nice. But, um, an attack modifier of minus 2. So I guess it's anybody who can take a minus 2 to attack. Hmm. Strength and con. That's not bad. All right, let's do a quick up, level up real quick, and then uh, and then we'll we'll uh, end the episode. Level up. All right, what do we want to do for you, good sir? Oh, uh, okay. Since he is my skills guy, he could use the skills implant, which would mean I need to get his constitution up. Uh, which would also help his hit points, since he died a little bit quicker than I expected the last couple of go-rounds. Although, bumping up his dexterity would help towards that end, too. Um, let's go ahead and get his constitution up. And, of course, he gets all the skills. Uh, yeah, let's go with the treat injury. Eventually, I do want to put get him some skill ranks and stealth. Beats. Can I make stealth a uh, class skill? I can make it a class skill. That is very tempting. Because he's already up as far as he can on dueling. So he is doing the single-handed weapon. Uh, that Gamoran thing might not be a bad idea either. I could bump up his flurry, which could use uh, some some up upgrades. Um... And Master Gearhead would be useful too, because again, he's my skills guy, and that's a, plus, that's a plus three to repair, security, and computer use. So he's got options. I think I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Stealth as a class skill and start dumping those extra two points in there to try to catch it up, because I didn't realize that some of the uh, some of the parts require a decent Stealth skill. On the other hand... Seems to be doing okay without it. Uh, regenerate vitality points might be nice too, as would toughness. Um, figuring out some weapons proficiencies. Like, apparently there's no um, weapons focus for melee form. Maybe, maybe I do want to switch them over to the uh, blaster pistols and just uh, focus on giving them a good blaster pistol. Although his dex isn't that good. On the other hand, it would keep him out of melee range, which would be nice. Although then I'd really want to get him that close combat and, uh, and a few other pistol-related ones. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let, let's upgrade his flurry for now. Except... That's it for you. Let's level up. Uh, oh! HK47 is a little less dark than he was before. Huh. Attributes. Alright. Uh, oh, constitution. Definitely. He needs... Because his strength and dex is pretty good. It, he's not going to benefit from intelligence or technically wisdom or charisma. So we need to get his constitution up a lot more. We need to get that up to 16 to 18. Um, yeah, let's keep his repair up and his awareness up, because those are survival things. And demolitions, because everybody's got to have a hobby? I don't know. There we go. There we go. Let's do a quick save. Alright, let's run back to the main battle circle, and then I'll call it an episode. I do want to uh, finish this in a useful, a useful place, or a place where we can start the next episode and actually do something useful. Oh, huh? Is this the guy that has that last little part? What you got, buddy? Hey! That's that phase pulse converter thing. 
And I think that's the last piece we needed. Yep, we found the last piece of the phase pulse converter. <laughs> if you never have to look at the insides of a Canuck again, it'll be too soon. You thought they smelled bad on the outside. Oh, wait, wrong movie. That comes later. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Yeah, and that should finish up all the quests out here. So that means that on the next episode, we're going to end... Thank you. I'm glad you appreciated that. Uh, that means that for the next episode, we should be able to turn in a bunch of quests. And... And finish up the battle circle. Oh, for serious. Hey, where's the... Wasn't there a guard here? Huh. Oh. Oh, seriously. So, so wait a second. I fight the evil kitty cats while the mighty Mandalorian guard hides? And you go, huh, who is out here swinging at the evil kitty cats, huh? 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 All right. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.